Hey guys, it's Marissa. Welcome to my channel. Today we are diving into the crafting and party planning section of the channel to make this super sweet high chair tutu uh, for a friend of mine. So her daughter is turning one and Miss Audrey is having a swan soiree theme, which I think is super adorable. And she would like this tutu to be on her high chair for pictures and for her smash cake. So I went ahead and filmed the process so you guys could follow along. So if you'd like to learn how to make this, then keep watching. Alright, so let's talk materials. So of course you'll need tool, and I'll tell you how much later. Some crafting scissors, some ribbon that matches your design. You'll need some Velcro dots or tabs to let it stick to the high chair, and then a cardboard box. So first step is to measure your high chair. So measure the side, the front, and the other side, just all the way around, and then measure how long you would like the tutu to fall. I don't have a high chair, so my friend has told me that her high chair all the way around is 52 inches, and so I am just gonna take my measuring tape and measure that out so we can start cutting our ribbon. And of course, my little uh, measuring tape is jammed and won't, won't cooperate. But I got to 52 inches. And again, just take the ribbon and just measure out how wide you'd need your uh, ribbon to go all the way around. And you'll see that I do go a little bit past the, the mark here. I like the look for of when it falls a little bit past. Um, so I kind of like a little bit of ribbon to be hanging down on each side. Um, so I do go a little bit past the 52 inch mark, maybe another foot or so. But um, of course, this is optional and you don't have to do that. If you don't like the way that looks, you can certainly just have it stop at the end. So go ahead and cut your ribbon. And then we will set that aside and start working on our tool. So for the tool that I'm using, I am using six inch in width, which I do recommend, and 100 yards. And this was the perfect amount for that measurement, the high chair measurement, to get a nice full look. Um, so go ahead and unroll it, and you can see it's quite sheer. It actually blends in. And I am using a box here to help me get my tool strips all the same length. And so you can use any box. Um, the formula here is that you'll want the box to be double of whatever the length that you would like it to be. So if you'd like your high chair, uh, your tutorial or tutu rather to fall to 20 inches, you'll cut the box to 40 inches plus an inch just to leave a little extra room. So just double whatever the length you'd like. So go ahead and take your tool roll and I just moved to the floor here because my desk is pretty small and I do all my best crafting on the floor. So go ahead and secure your tool to the box with just a little piece of tape and start rolling it out. And I'm trying to get it pretty smooth here, just kind of smooth out the wrinkles as best you can so that it's pretty uniform. And the idea is that we're gonna wind the tool around and around the cardboard box um, a bunch of times and um, it'll start to kind of get a little bit thick and full and you can go ahead and cut it and keep moving on until the roll is done. But um, the idea is that we're just gonna kind of wind this around and have perfectly even strips so that they're all the same size. And so I'm just kind of trying to smooth it down a little bit, keep the box relatively straight. You want it to be as close in size as you can so you don't want them to kind of bunch up too much, but a little bit is probably okay. And so I sped this process up because you don't need to sit here and watch me do this over and over. Um, but when just do this until the roll is done. And I did take this in chunks. So it started to get a little bit full and a little bit hard to keep the box to stay flat. And so I did end up cutting it and doing the process again. So I did end up doing this a couple times. So just cut one end and then you're gonna try to hold it in place and then you'll cut the other end. and repeat this until the roll is done. And then you'll end up with perfectly um, even strips. So now it's time to place the strips onto the ribbon. And so take your ribbon, I've tied a little knot there so that they don't kind of slide off. Um, take your first tool strip and fold it in half. And this is why we need double the length of the box because uh, they were gonna end up being cut in half or folded in half. So take that, just loop it around, place your loop behind the ribbon and stuff the ends through so that you make a little knot. And it's a little hard to see because it's so sheer, um, but once you do pull tight, it ends up in a knot. And this is our first tool strip and it does bump up against the knot so it shouldn't fall off. And so I'll just take another strip and show you 
uh, another one because this will be repeated like a thousand more times <laughs> however many strips you end up with so just take your tool fold it over take your loop and place it behind the ribbon and then take the ends and just sort of stuff them through and make a knot around the ribbon and then once you pull tight it'll form another little tool strip and so I did this process uh, for as many strips as I had and so you'll see what that looks like I just went ahead and sped up again so you don't have to sit here and watch me do the whole thing um, but I did go ahead and do this for the entire uh, roll and I have read a, a, a guideline that says you can use one strip per inch for however many you need so this would indicate that I needed 52 strips if I my measurement was 52 inches but I didn't find that that was full enough so I wouldn't go off of that um, I ended up doing the entire hundred yards and I thought that that was great so I, I think for the fullness I was looking for I would say one inch is not enough per you know one strip per inch isn't enough so maybe one and a half to two strips per inch so again just keep doing the same process making your tool um, strips until you reach the end and so here I am just about to reach the end I'm doing my last one I've gotten quite fast at it so I kind of got into a groove and you'll see that there's a few inches left and that's okay so we don't need to um, you know do them right to the end just go ahead and slide the knots down and it's still fairly full you don't need to um, buy another roll just for those few extra inches it looks perfectly full just by kind of sliding down and distributing the knots pretty evenly. I sort of tugged on a few to make sure that they were, you know, pretty tight and looked pretty good, but we will end up covering the top, those knots anyway, so uh, they shouldn't show by the time you're done. So I wasn't super concerned with the way that they looked, but just wanted to get an even distribution. And then the tool gets kind of knotted up, so I did take this down again to the floor and just started combing these out. Um, it gets kind of tangly, so just kind of finger comb through the front and the back so that it's nice and, um, you know, smooth and lays flat um, for the next step. And so what I did was I took my Silhouette Cameo and I cut a glitter cardstock um, piece for her name in the front, because I think that's adorable. And I did maybe, uh, I think, 10 to 12 inches for her name just right in the front so it's nice and big and hot glued that on. And then I also hot glued on these Dollar Tree flowers. And so I used two bunches of peonies, which I love, I think they're so cute, and just pop the tops off. Um, I do often snip the little piece that, um, put, that holds the flower onto the stem, just so that it lays really flat. And then I hot glued those around and it just took me uh, two bunches. So $2 is not too bad. And so once it's done, then go ahead and put your Velcro dots on the back and secure it to the high chair. And this is the finished product. It turned out really cute and my friend was really pleased. So hopefully uh, this works for you and thanks for watching.